180 miles above the Earth, science fiction became reality. Gemini 7 orbited the Earth at 17,000 miles an hour. In many ways, this incredible rendezvous is even more remarkable than the walk in space. In the capsule were astronauts Frank Borman and Jim Lovell, only a few feet away from Walter Scherra and Tom Stafford in Gemini 6. This was the culmination of years spent by scientists working out and at last perfecting an operation without which no landing of men on the moon could be contemplated. Millions down on Earth held their breath as the spacecraft synchronized their orbits to bring the meeting about. They passed now into the shadow of Earth. The darkness illuminated only by the reflected sunlight from the heat shield of Gemini 7. The merest touch of the imagination, and surely this is one of the most eerie and outstanding scenes ever recorded by motion picture cameras. I love this guy, Keith Mike. Visible throughout this film is the spacecraft Gemini 7. Sometimes we see a part of Gemini 6, from which these astounding pictures were taken. Many have been the tributes paid to astronauts. This time the heroes are unseen. Walter Scherer and Tom Stafford, Frank Borman and Jim Lovell. Few indeed must be those people anywhere in the world who do not thrill to their achievement. Quite beyond the scope of pictures to illustrate is the fact that at all this time, the spacecraft were orbiting at 17,000 miles an hour. Cathay News gratefully acknowledges the help of the American authorities in New York, Washington, Cape Kennedy and Houston in rushing these first color pictures to us. America's aim, Men on the Moon by 1970, bounds forward as the result of this rendezvous in space.